Evening, everyone. This is Joe Henches for Beyond the Chart. Happy Halloween. And it is a market update for Friday, November 1st. A brand new month. Uh, we're starting out with this first chart of the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Now, I, I was almost tempted to give an update yesterday because of the activity that was going on with this outside bar. Now, we didn't get one quite on the Dow Industrials, as you can see here. And I'm talking about an outside bar where the high and low were higher and lower than the previous day. Now, that didn't quite happen on the Dow. Uh, and then, but it did on some other indices, and we'll talk about that in a minute. But here today, you could see we closed almost on our low, down 72.96 points, and something like 65 points of that happened in the last 15 minutes. So the market really sold off at the very tail end today, which is not positive. So uh, I don't know what's you know what that entails for tomorrow. I mean we're taking one day at a time as we go here. So uh, but right now we're starting to get some signals. You know I've talked about this. Uh, you know my blog posts and, and and comments and videos. We're talking about some cautionary signals I'm seeing, and some of this seems to be coming home to roost. We'll see whether or not we get any follow through or not here. Um, the let me see if I can look at this. The uh, yeah, I mean, we're getting on the DI plus this. The blue is the buying power. The red is the selling power. OK, so when you're looking at strength to go up, you're looking at the blue. And if you don't get any follow through in the blue, if it's not looking good and on the RSI, if I'm getting divergences, you know, um, lower highs as the market's going to higher highs, the market did go to a new high here, although it was slight, you know, that's that's not good. So. Um, Anyway, uh, let's look at the S&P 500, and here's the outside day. Now, it wasn't strongly down. Um, blow this up a little bit. Uh, you know, when I, and I say strongly down in terms of closing closer to the low of the day. This, this is a close right here, but the high was higher than the high. The low was lower than the previous low. So here's this outside down day. And um, and then today we've gotten some negative follow through. Now, I think the last time near the top that we had something, this kind of activity was back here in May. OK, we had this outside down day at the top and it led. It was like the peak uh, to this sell off that concluded down here in June. Now, it wasn't a smooth. You can see it was choppy getting there, but it was the top and it was, you know, um, uh, was that type of a signal. Let's look at the NASDAQ. Same thing on the NASDAQ. You know, uh, so and, and actually the NASDAQ encompassed several days in its outside down. Uh, so there's a real good chance. And let's see how it looked back uh, in May. You know, you get this big outside down day at the top in May. OK, let's see. Take a look at the Russell 2000. It's a very similar thing. Outside down and then, you know, down day here, too. And we've got a couple closes below this 10 day exponential moving average. And I think it was the same thing with these others. Now, we don't we don't have a close on the New York uh, composite. Let's go back to the Dow. We're not below the 10 yet there. We're not. We're still above the 10 there. So really, the Russell is showing up as as like the weakest. And I think I, I just lost it. There it is. The Russell is all of a sudden the Russell had been one of the stronger ones leading up here. Now, all of a sudden, it's one of the weaker ones. So that's that's kind of interesting. And we you know, we are getting divergence here. Indicators did not go to new highs as the Russell pushed. OK. Um, I want oh the I was going to look at the financial ETF too to see how it is doing, and you know we got a pretty good little sell off. I mean JP Morgan I think is in here. Of course JP Morgan's having lots of problems and issues, um, but you know this is looking weak that like it's starting to try to roll over. So um, I want to look at a few stocks right now. Apache I did get long in Apache this morning, which. Uh, you know, given the market's selling off, I'm kind of like going, okay, why'd you do that? But um, 
I'll tell you, I'm not getting the divergences on the RSI. So that's when I looked at that, I said, okay, well, I'm not getting negative RSI. I am getting a little bit here on this. I mean, it's definitely a negative there. But when I have mixed signals, I lean towards the RSI. Uh, so that's just the way I'm looking. Now, the other thing is we had a real strong move. I think we're bottoming here. And, and I've talked about this before on Apache. I think we're in a head and shoulders bottom, okay? And this was a really strong, we had, a, had good volume come in, buying power come in as you thrust it up here. And this was like, you know, wave one. Okay, then you had pullback wave two, and this retraced 68% of wave one, which is typical for a wave two pullback. It's typically around 60, 50 to 68%, okay? Now you get wave three going up here, and it's you know a little hard sometimes to count the waves. You get one, two. We seem to be in a wave three, which is why when I saw this type of, of uh, correction going on, like an A, B, C, and I saw on an hourly chart uh, a forward, um, a uh, reversal bar upward. Uh, I, st I thought, okay, might be a good chance to get in here and we'll, we'll just see. My stop's going to be on that reversal bar. If I get a close below the low, I'll, I'll be getting out. So that's kind of my signal on that. Um, Quahu, I am still in. And honestly, this is one where, again, I don't, you know, I use the Elliott Waves kind of as a guide to kind of help me know where I am. And and this one, you know, one, two, three, four, and a huge Wave 5, okay? If Wave 5 has concluded up here, that's the big if. If it has, then we're in for a pretty good pullback, and I think it's coming right down here. So I'm putting that circle right there. You guys can, we could see what happens. But on an hourly chart that I follow during the day, I'm seeing the Elliott Waves track in a down move. And so far, they've held pretty true. Now, we'll see. Now, the aftermarket tonight, Quahu is down over one. I'm not sure there was any news. Don't, don't know, but uh, we're hanging in there with that one for right now. Now, I'll mention Mosaic. I've been following and watching this one, and it looks like it might be finally starting to roll over. Uh, again, th this is starting to look almost like a shoulder, head, shoulder um, consolidation move but I you know as this starts to if I get a low below this low and um, get di minus below uh, greater than di plus I mean it could be a good sign that it's time to uh, time to go south on this thing but you know I'd like to see this 10 day pull below the the uh, 20 day also uh, solar city this is another one now this looks a little messy you could take a look at this later but uh, again, when I look at Solar City, I, I, I'm counting. Here's where it launched, okay, when it went public. I'm counting one, two, three, four, five waves up, a correction down, one, A, B, C for sec wave two. Now we're in wave one, two, three, and it looks like a correction wave four, okay? And typically wave fours are going to correct 38 to 40 percent, sometimes as little as 23, but typically 38 to 40. So it's corrected as much as normal here on on uh, on Solar City. Uh, I've got this base channel written in here. I mean, I targeted that it could possibly pull back into here, but this could be interesting for to see that it's really kind of in that buy zone. If you get some kind of signal close up above the 10 in here, some positive action. I think uh, Solar City is getting ready to hit head up for a wave five of this uh, of this third wave up. So, um, I mean, it, it looks bullish to me right now. So we'll we'll just have to see how that plays out. So you may want to watch that one closely. So I think that was it for tonight. Um, hope one, everyone had a great Halloween. It was a wonderful, beautiful day here this afternoon in in, uh, in the Dallas area, and uh, have a great. Uh, Friday, and we'll talk to you this weekend. This has been Joe for Beyond the Chart.